Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. Sorry for the delay in getting started here, but uh, I had to take care of a few things that were necessary. Okay, and in response with the video from yesterday, what we're going to be doing is taking ideas from different video games and trying to recreate them in a project in Unreal Engine 4 and just seeing what we can come up with, uh, kind of mixing different game features and so forth and at some point we'd like to actually get more people involved in actually playing the games so we can talk about the game and the features and how the developers did what they did and so forth and create whatever we want for our games based on that and then actually um, go over to Unreal Engine 4 and be able to talk about it and create the, the features as we go and see what we can come up with on that. So let's go ahead and get into currently what I'm using for all the assets that I'm going to be using in this series. I'm going to try to use only free items, whether they're free forever, on the marketplace, Mixamo animations, whatever we need to to get things done. But I've also added in a few things that were... Um, I'm trying not to add things that were free for the month that are no longer free, unless I have to. Um, but uh, here's the list of what I've got in here so far. I'm using the standard UE4 mannequin. I'm using the one paid item that is part of this project is my simple multiplayer Steam template. So if you're not familiar with it, mm, yeah, check some of my other videos. Um, it's something that I sell that's a menu system that allows you to use Steam architecture for... Uh, creating a multiplayer menu system for having your friends be able to join you and play cooperatively or PvP, whatever you want, but it's the menu system for getting you into the game to play. Um, I'm also using the Animation Starter Pack. We're going to use a lot from that. We're using, or I'm going to be using the Prototype Weapons, which is free. It says it only goes up to 4.22, but I've shown how to to get it to work, it's easy. All you do, well, just yeah, it works. Trust me, it's in here, and and I'm using 423. I'm using the Infinity Blade effects. I'll probably add in something else for other effects because there is no rain in this one, in that one. So I I want a rain particle effect. So I'll see what I can come up with that has that in there. I am also using the Construction Volume One and Volume Two. And I mentioned this in my Discord channel of the assets that I'm using. They're all free from the marketplace. So the weapons that I'm going to be using out of that pack, there is a pistol, a sniper rifle. There's a rifle, but I don't like the way it looks. Um, there's a rocket launcher, grenade launcher, and a shotgun. I'm going to be using those. And you can see them here. That's actually the sniper rifle. I'm going to use it multi-purpose as a rifle and sniper mode. Um, the pistol. They're not realistic weapons, but if I was using realistic, then I'd be, you know, complaining about them all the time, and you know how that goes. Uh, the rocket launcher there in the middle, shotgun on the right, and grenade launcher on the left. And they do have their own sounds, which we will be replacing, and particle effects and so forth. Um, part of the construction series, I've added in... Why did you add a lunchbox? Well, later on, it's going to be something that whenever we're shooting, we can shoot things and they will interact, they'll move. The uh, propane tanks and gas can, whenever you shoot them, they will explode. Um, reason why I have, well, there's two different propane tanks in one of the, uh, the construction packs. Uh, those, I will probably, the little ones, I will probably have just detonate when you shoot them. The larger one, I'll do like what's in um, the division. When you shoot the larger ones, they actually have a flame that comes off of them. That then they explode after a short time. Um, got some different barricades. Of course, with jumping, you can just jump right over. But um, if we're using the division two as a basis for um, some of the stuff. Um, yeah, we'll cover that in just a minute. Like this barricade and of course you can just jump over it but the whole point of this barricade and these and boxes and other things and the shipping container is to be able to 
when we go up to this we can either take cover on it or we can actually climb on top of it and we'll add animations and so forth to get that to work um, these will be able to take cover behind these or vault over the top of them instead of jumping one thing about the division series games is that um, there is no jumping jumping has been disabled in the game and why would you disable jumping there why would you not want your character to jump it's pretty simple answer to that is going to be um, access control to keep your player from getting to areas where they can fall out of the map or go to where they're behind buildings or glitching through items and so forth to kind of prevent that if you can't jump it's going to limit where you can go because I can't jump over this barricade here even as small as it is I can't jump over it then I can't get behind it and exploit and do things like that I'm not saying that division two players would exploit <coughs> but um, yeah and of course like with this right here I want to be able to go up to it and instead of jump to try to get on top be able to press a key and be able to um, do the jump to the ledge and then the climb up animation so those we'll actually bring in from Mixamo uh, we just want to get started with a simple part of this the first thing we're going to do is stop walking around and looking at it since we have the animation starter pack we're going to first go over to the UE4 ASP character I hate the name of that um, jumping since we're trying to emulate this like uh, the division we're going to do this and delete we're no longer going to be able to jump and since I added this in, I didn't, you know, create anything. I don't have the input for crouch. We want to be able to crouch. And I'm going to set this up in a couple different ways. But first off, this is broken because there is no key bind for it. And I'm not going to bind a key. I'm going to assign a key. And we're going to rearrange how these things work. And add something else to it. So we're going to delete that and we're just going to go ahead and create keyboard C for our crouch. And you don't know me on my OCDs, I got to be lined up and look pretty. And when we press it, I'm going to do a flip flop. I, I don't like toggling crouching. So we press the button the first time, we're going to crouch and we do it again we're going to uncrouch but there's one thing we're going to add in here and I'll show you why in just a moment so for now we're just going to line these up make it look pretty and then we're going to come back in here and change it compile and save we're going to go back over here to our world settings and change our player to the UE4 ASP character we'll change that later I like using player underscore base even though I already have one so now if we go in here I see I hate that freaking mouse cursor I don't like the fact that when we move our mouse around, our whole body slides around. It's something we will address. We can no longer jump when I hit the space bar, so that's gone. Now if I hit the C key to crouch. Now I did not specifically turn on my capsule component, but you notice the capsule component is still at, at full height. So if we crouch to try to get underneath something, then we're not going to be able to get underneath there. So if we go over here and... Let's see what I can rig up really quickly. Our meshes. And we got a piece of rebar. But let's grab a stack of rebar. I tried to preload some of this stuff so we wouldn't have to sit here and wait for shaders. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. I'll grab two of these guys. And I'll reposition them as we need to, to to get the point across here. It's probably not going to 
I hate how slow we're walking. We're going to fix that really damn quick. So if I crouch, it's still too low. Um, we're a little higher. But let's just go ahead and raise that up. Just so we can get the other point across. So if we crouch, and we want to crouch and walk underneath something, we can't because our capsule collision is still going to interact with that. So all we have to do with this is move these over and attach to the end when we are crouching we want to crouch and when we're not crouching we want to uncrouch why is there nodes for crouch and uncrouch if it's a not a normal thing well if we do it we want that to change our half height or when we're, we're crouching, we're going to set that up to where the capsule component actually shrinks down. So, capsule component, um, capsule half height, and capsule radius. It's set to 100. So, if we look at our character, our character is not 100. You look at the amount of space between the top of the head and there anyway, that's way too high. And if we take some off of there, what's going to happen is... See, the capsule is no longer at the level of the feet. So if we did that, then... The feet are stuck into the ground. The capsule is going to be... The bottom of the capsule is always going to be on the ground. But our capsule is not changing either. So we actually have to manipulate our player mesh to suit the bottom of the capsule. That actually covers us better, but I don't like the, the width of it, so I'm going to change that to try 35. It's a little better. Our capsule component, capsule half height, still showing as 90. But if I change that, it's actually changing the full height. And that's something I never did understand. It's why you have it that way. Um, so the capsule component, we want that to actually go smaller whenever we actually crouch. Um, we'll address that, but I have got to address this one thing here. Of on event begin play, I have to get rid of that freaking mouse cursor. It will bug me to no end if I don't go ahead and kill that now. So event begin play. We want to set input to game only. Get a reference to our player controller. And set your mouse cursor to false. I really, really freaking hate that. So, I want to look at this, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the, the capsule thing. I will revisit this as we need to. But that's something that's going to have to be addressed. And whenever we are crouching, we want that capsule to actually shrink down. Um, and as far as I thought, that would actually do it. Uh, yeah, sometimes you can actually open it up and, and read what that function actually does. Um, but it doesn't want me to. So how's everybody doing this evening? The state that I live in is South Carolina, and it was just added to the list of states that's on full lockdown. Um, the mouse cursor issue for me, it does not show up when you actually build and play the game but it's only in the editor so if we hit C to crouch um, I'll come back to that um, the capsule is supposed to cut itself in half um, and if you try to pull that reference in here
set capsule half height. And with that, I mean, if we're looking at it that way, what's going to be a problem now is if we just do it this way, our current capsule component half height is 90. If we were to change that to 60, then Control C, Control V, paste copy or copy and paste it, rather, and take that back up to 90 whenever we're done. What's liable to happen there is the mesh is not going to respond as well. So, yeah, see our mesh then goes into the ground. So we're going to have to readdress the mesh issue again. So when we do, now we can crouch to go under, but our feet drop into the ground so we're essentially dropping our character down by 30 and I'm running out of room here you can go up here I'll come back and move you later All right, so a little bit of room to work with there. We need to... See, it's still going to be attached to the capsule. So if I just... Um, try set relative location. That is probably not going to be what we need to do. So we need to get our location and and then add to that. And it's probably not going to work the way that I want it to. Can we get world location? And we do vector plus vector. Our new location is going to be, we're adding, what, 30? I highly doubt that's going to do what I want to do. Yay. Yeah, that's not going to do what I want. I will come back to that and fix that issue because that is going to be problematic for down the road. For now, we just wanted to have that set up, and I will come up with a good way of doing that. So this is why I want to have multiple people in here working at the same time, discussing that. Uh, let's go ahead and address our character movement. Our current max walk speed is 270. And let's just go ahead and I'm going to raise that up to 400. See, max walk speed when crouched is supposed to change as well. Whenever we we hit to crouch, it's supposed to slow us down. It's really not that noticeable. But this is going to bug me until I come up with a way of fixing that. So getting beyond... Uh, anything like this. What we'll need to do is create a blueprint actor that we can put into the scene anywhere where we want our player to be able to interact with say this. It's already an actor in the scene to have these two barricade pieces right there. So it doesn't really matter if it's actually the static mesh to run into the scene or an actual um, uh, blueprint versus 
you know the the actor yeah you know, blueprint actor versus a status mesh actor so if we wanted to we could actually just take that and include that into an actual blueprint let's go ahead and set up something really quickly in here um, first off capsule component I'm gonna go ahead and set as hidden in game all right so we have this this is going to set crouch button down or up in, in, a, in essence and then set that but I'm gonna go ahead and create a custom event and um, let's go ahead and custom crouch it won't let me name it that because that's in here so we'll just name it something different um, custom crouch down and no I'm not replicating these things right now and um, that's something that we can look at later and we're crouching and crouch up why not so we'll do custom crouch up just to have a reference name wise and we're doing the same basic thing here we're going to use those now, even though right now we already have the ability to crouch what I'm going to do is short term I'm going to use these as something to do whenever I I approach this barricade we can press a key and then tell it to crouch but we don't necessarily need it to be this what we're going to do is change it later to where that is cover when we come over here and hit the space bar we're going to take cover behind the obstacle but if we want to go across it we can hit the um, left control key or alternate or whatever we choose to go for so we can we can crouch now we can stand here next to it and crouch but what I want to set it up is a system to where it notifies me that I'm at a, a barricade that I can either vault over or I can crouch behind and use cover. The cover system in, in the division, whether you're crouching or you're walking, um, you're now at this and one of the things you'll notice is when you're crouched behind and using cover you take very little or no damage when you're at you're behind cover and somebody's shooting towards the cover but those two crates over there if I want to change my cover position I can actually will see an icon that will come up based on where I'm looking and if I hit the spacebar key and hold it down my character will vault across the item that I'm on and go to the one that I'm looking at and then resume being on cover so that's the setup we'll, we'll end up using for that but we need to know that here we are on cover or at a cover location so that we can if we choose to hit the space bar and it will perform the for now crouch which it'll just do this but as we add functionality to it when we hit the spacebar key it will crouch and you'll be sort of locked to this piece right here until you decide to either hit the control key and and vault over the top of it and in that case you would end up going back to your standing position and you can keep on going or if you're on this one and you want to go to this one or this one you look in that direction hit and hold the spacebar key you'll vault over and do that so there will be a chain of events that will happen one thing at a time so instead of actually building a blueprint for this and this and this and this build a generic blueprint that will just put at a cover location 
So there'll be one here and one here. Or since they're two are linked, we can actually then scale it up to fit both of them. So that's what we're going to do is go right now to my asset folder, create a new folder called Gadgets. If you're not familiar with the Division 2, then, or the Division itself, then I suggest checking it out. It's a pretty good game. But uh, I will be doing more gameplay videos of it um, as time goes on. I've got a couple up now. The one from yesterday was actually showing more of gameplay and talking about the functions and features. So we're going to create a new blueprint actor and we're going to call this cover location and all we need is a box collision cover zone we're going to compost and save and I'm going to get rid of all this compost and save right click begin overlap and end overlap because what we need to do is set it up to where and there's going to be a lot of variables attached to this when we're on cover for right now as soon as we overlap on this we want to oh, and I want to hate the name of this stupid UE4 ASP character um, but for now we'll do this and cast to UE yeah, blah, blah 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 whatever so Control C and we'll copy and paste that in here so we can set up the functionality. And since we already created this crouch down and crouch up, we can now crouch down and crouch up. and we'll need to set up a new variable which is going to be on cover question mark and we're going to set on cover to be true and false when we leave it For now, this will end up being changed multiple times as we go. Eat my butt. All right, so when we first get there, we're going to go on cover, and we need to create a key binding that locks us to cover. But for now, Let's actually put that in front of here. Actually position it right in between. So this is our cover location. I'm going to go ahead and just put that there and stop being on the ground. We know that we need to actually let's undo that and this box collision we need to raise the Z in at 30 because we didn't resize it it's just normal default size it just puts it right there at the ground level so now if I come over here and I get to this we automatically crouch we leave we uncrouch so get up to it and this is where we would press the space bar to leave cover if we want to or get on cover so we're doing it automatically right now just by okay when we get over here we're gonna crouch when we leave it we're gonna not crouch wow that movement sucks on this blueprint so to start and that's the, the way you've got to do things is actually you can't just make it all happen at one time you got to build one little part of the feature at a time
Uh, tonight's drink of choice, chocolate milk. So now, if we are close to it, we want to move forward and get locked to it. So, what if we open up that box collision so that um, it doesn't just force us into the crouch position and we can still move around? Even though that's not a bad thing, but we can't shoot over unless we ADS. And if we ADS, are we going to be able to um, clear the barricade to begin with? So there's a lot of things that will have to change here and there. So let's actually set up the box collision to be a little bit larger. And I'm going to go ahead and uncheck hidden in game. Compile and save. And we're going to remove those. Well, we'll leave them on here for now. Um, just for testing purposes. So let's actually make this bigger. So we have that larger box, and now that when we step off of my beautiful road, um, we will see that we automatically go to it. But instead of automatically going into it, why is somebody sending me a DM while I'm streaming? Um, we want to make our character move closer, move to a location here, Maybe only allow us to move left and right at some point, but move to either right here or right here. And what we'll do is we'll change this over to a single uh, obstacle. We'll use the box. So for this, when we come over here and we want to do this, we want our posted location to be here in the center behind the cover. So, this is where we have to create a uniform size for what we're doing. Oh, well, yeah, I knew about that, but it, whenever you, you change those settings, um, you could have said that in the, um, a little bit more clear in the, um, the, the chat here uh, about the mouse click a mouse thing being being there um, none of the settings are saved unless you clone the project and start working on another cloned version of the project it does not retain those settings between every time I open and close Unreal Engine 4 or, or create a new project. It just the settings don't save as a default, and I want it to be default to never happen ever. And no matter whenever I change things like that, it just comes back. So whether we're here, or here, or here, or anywhere inside this box, whenever we press the space bar to get on cover, we want our player to move over here. Now, here's the fun part as well. We can do that by taking away our control and giving our character AI control. But we also have to reconfigure this box. Is this the size that we're always going to have it? And we do this at 2 by 3 by 1. If that's the size we always want to retain, then we need to set that up in here. For our cover zone to be two by three and then go back into our map and actually change that back to one and one so that that's always going to be the way that it looks so we have that zone that we can actually now go to cover on so let's go ahead and I'm going to remove these for now. Let's go ahead and we need a spot in here that is our location. And I'm going to go ahead and create an arrow. 
and you can see the arrow is facing that direction that's not where I want it to face but um, let's change our orientation on this to be 3 by 2 and then we'll actually screw you I just said compile and change it on here so you can see their arrow let's go ahead and move the arrow up just so we can see it and it is not 30 on cover zone it is 50 I thought it was 30. Yeah, it should be 30. We want our arrow to now be facing cover. And since the tail of the arrow is where the actual location is, let's move that to... end let's put it 90 it's okay if it's above it's not going to be an issue so now as we look at it anytime we put that there we can now put that as a cover location anywhere we want and when we go there we're now in it but here's the thing is we're going to have to put in a nav mesh bounds I don't and I, I've never tried before and let's see nav no so maybe it might be possible to actually put it in there but it aren't I'm going to go ahead and do something that I really don't want to do and actually scale this up to fit the whole map. You wouldn't want to do that for what you're actually doing. It's 25 by 25. So we're good. So what should happen now is at this cover location we're going to set on cover, but we're going to ditch those guys. And we don't actually want this to be on cover. We want this to be at cover. So we're going to have an on cover as well, but I'm going to go ahead and change this one. And you can see it changed it right there automatically. Oh, would you freaking wake up on Real Engine 4? Oh, I'm trying to do things. So now we're just setting the variable to being at. We're at this. And now what we want to do is when we're at this, we want to move it to here when we hit the space bar. I'm going to move it to that. What? What is your frickin' problem? What is your problem? You suck ass so bad sometimes on Real Engine 4. Uh, it is the same shit. I'm deleting it and remaking the same shit that was just there. Sometimes I have no problems with just renaming shit. Sometimes it just decides it wants to be a pain in the ass. So now we're at cover. We're not at cover. Gee, no errors this time for having the same thing that was there before. Um, so we're setting that. Now here, um, we're going to ignore these for now. Let's move that to there. And keyboard space bar is going to be our trigger. When we hit the space bar, we need to know are we at cover. 
So, branch nodes in order. Are we at cover? If so, then we need to have a cover location. So let's go ahead and add that variable in here. Cover current cover location. And that's going to have to be a vector. You know what, I'm going to make that as a, um, a transform because I want the rotation as well. So let's go ahead and get a reference to our arrow. Get world transform. So we get the transform of where the arrow is. That's going to be our location and direction is what we really need. So let's go ahead and what did I name it? I named it current cover location. Set current cover location. We just plug that in here and here. Gives us a place to go to. And let's see if this actually works. Never tried it, but you know what? It's all about experimentation and that's how you learn things, right? Or watching cool videos of really awesome people like myself <coughs> bullshit, <coughs> that um, you can learn things from. Um, yeah, I move two and we want to be self um. get that and we want to break it and let's use the location and then we will set actor rotation on success when we get to where we're going we want to set our rotation to that yourself and let's crouch nope crouch down so that's what we want to happen is when we hit the space bar we want our character to just move to that cover location and then crouch down so if we walk over here we're now in that location and it didn't work. It should walk us over here and then crouch down. So let's actually go about this a different way and use the I move to location or actor, which really haven't had much call for using this. get AI controller no there had to, there has to be a, you know a good use for this um, and then on move finished never tried this before either and it could fail shit happens yep it ain't doing it it should be moving you should be go over um, we got our location if we go back to the other one and this is not how I want to do this
set accurate location and rotation is not how I want to do it. So we set the location, we set the rotation, and now it should be a sweep or teleport. Let's try a sweep, but we'll probably have to use a teleport. This is exactly not how I want to do this. So if we go here and we hit the space bar. It just crouched. It didn't set my frickin' location. We can uncrouch manually by hitting the C key, but spacebar, it's not moving us. So let's try it with um, teleport and may have to use a reference itself there. I don't want to teleport. Alright, so that's what I kind of figured would happen. Oh, I'm really interested in four. You and your frickin' capsule collision or capsule component. Um, so let's break that. And we need to plus, so it'd be a vector plus vector. And we need to. Raise that number up by 90. And I probably could just move this. Yes, you suck. I don't want to do a teleport, as that is the, the last thing that I want to do. I want my character to actually run over here and be on cover. Fucking Unreal Engine. I swear. We don't need you. Um, actually, we might. Let's take the arrow and move it back so it's not there. And actually, let's set that to 100. It's one of those things where you're still being an asshole. Why? Oh, because my dumbass, you guys let me do it. I didn't connect the freaking pin. So we can come back and change that again. Let me forget to connect the pin. I blame you guys for it. So yeah, we can actually get rid of, if we put that back at zero, so it teleported us there, but now we can move around, so when we leave this cover, we definitely want to go ahead and make sure that we're doing, um, removed from crouch essentially and if we just hit spacebar nothing's gonna happen because we're not in that box collision so if we do it we're there we're on on this cover then what we need to do is set it up to where if we just walk away that's fine but if we want to we can god I hate this animation blueprint that weird stuttery movement um, we can no longer walk until we hit the space bar and then it'll allow us to actually move again. So let's actually do that on space bar. This is what we're going to do when we get on cover. So what we should do is enter, you know, have this as enter cover and create another custom event for exit cover and 
we wanted to short term we can do um, stop our movement so when we crouch down we need to get a reference to our character movement set movement mode to none and let's just go ahead and flip flop so we press it again we still need to know if we're at cover or not so I'm still going to use these two and roll that in here we should still be on cover there's no reason why we should not still be on cover um, but this is Unreal Engine 4 and shit happens <laughs> so when we do that um, we are at cover and let's go ahead and we hit the space bar a second time let's go ahead and get it character movement set movement mode to walking and we need to get back up And so that we're not doing this and having to walk all the freaking time, I'm just gonna move it a little bit closer. Because walking the extra five feet just can torture, you know. We hit the space bar. We're now behind cover. We can't move. We're locked behind it. So now we can perform actions, do what we want to do. And if we want to leave cover, just hit the space bar, and we can get up and start walking again. We can walk through this zone. It doesn't do anything at all. If we're not in that zone, doesn't do anything. If we are, it locks us in on cover, and we're good. We want to get up, hit the space bar, and keep on moving. Two things I want to do really quickly, and then we'll get out of here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put our rifle in our, our character's hands, just because he looks goofy without it. Walking around, doing our hands like that. And we're just going to go to our mesh. At some point, we're going to combine all these together into one mesh instead of having multiples. But for now, let's go ahead and use specific anima animation. And we'll just do rifle. Idle rifle hip. So we actually have something in our character's hands besides just standing there holding an air gun not like a pellet gun but an air you know you know what the hell I mean uh, let's go ahead and hand our add socket screw you and F2 main hand and let's add a preview asset sniper Uncheck snapping on our movement this way. I'm just going to take a minute here just to try to get it somewhat nice. Not going to be perfect. We just want it there. Good enough. And we'll save that. Go back to our player. And for now, go to our mesh. Come down here. Go to prototype weapons. And... Yeah, it's just right here. Your 
weird ass noises. Um, snipper rifle, add component, skeletal mesh, rifle, parent socket, main hand, and there we go. So now we actually have a weapon in our hands. We don't look totally dorky. Oh no, we can't jump. Because jumping is disabled in this game. So now we're there. We can't move around until we hit spacebar again. Then we can move again. And if we want this to work on anything else, we well, just got to place that in front of it. That's all we got to do is just place that in to our scene where we want our cover location to be. So if we want it to be here, no problem. Want it to be here, no problem. Want to get behind this one. All right, so I don't know if you caught that. We went in here and we hit the space bar. We're good to go. Space bar again and no problem. We come back over here. Hit spacebar, we're good. Hit spacebar again, we move to this next one. I'm hitting spacebar and nothing is happening. Walk out, walk back in, and it works. Okay? That is a problem that should, in theory, be quick and easy. Setting at cover to be false. And we don't need crouch up in there anymore because we are doing that with the spacebar key but we're setting at cover to be false and that should be fine a little kill set cover to false sometimes it's very very simple little things let's make sure that we are good on those Crouch button down. Okay, so we're doing that. Crouch button is down. We need to make sure that we have that there. And it should be by running these two events right here. So let's see if that actually fixed the problem. Or if it was just... We're here. We walk out. It would go directly in. They're not overlapping. But if I walk over here, it's... I had to hit it twice. So I come over here. It works fine. Stand up. And I think it's because they're so close together. So we walk over here. I hit spacebar and nothing happens. So it's just a matter of not doing one thing. When we crouch up. It is setting the variable for crouch button down to be false. Um, short term also. I'm gonna remove that branch node. What's happening is it's not cycling the variable. So if I do this, it works just fine. Hit spacebar, walk around, everything is good. Hit spacebar again, nothing's happening. Walk over here, hit spacebar, it works. Hit spacebar again, walk to the next one, and it does not work. Did not work. Walk over here, did not work, and did work. So this is one of those things that we're troubleshooting. You've got to know that it's are we at cover yes then we can do this we have to ensure that when we are here we're setting at cover to true and when we're leaving it we're setting it to false and that's fine but going back into the new one the next one over it's going to set we're at cover back to true and it's going to change that location. And 
and we can avoid using this by moving the arrow up by 100. You said this is one of those things where I'm going to have to sit here and figure out which variable is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So we'll do that. So if you come in here, you uncover, it's working just fine. Go out, come back, it works fine. Go out. So if I hit the spacebar button, I can't move again, but when I hit the spacebar button again, it unlocks me from being able to, to move around. But if I'm here, I should just snap right back into it again, leave, and it works just fine. It's not working. So whenever I leave it and come back, it's... I had to hit the spacebar twice. So it's just a matter of finding that what is it not doing? Well, let's go ahead and we, we don't want to set at cover as fault here because if we're still at the cover, we want to be able to go back into it. So you have to break down these little things Okay, it works. I hit spacebar again. Spacebar, 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 spacebar. Everything is fine. Come back. I walk out of it and I'm in it again. I hit spacebar. It's working just fine. But now if I go to a new one, hit spacebar. It's working just fine. Can't move. So hit spacebar. And I think it's because we're overlapping. They are too close. It's not working, not working, not working. But then I move back over to this one. It's not working. I have to physically leave and then physically re-enter and hit spacebar twice. And I, if I get rid of this one being that close to it. So that works just fine. Walk out, come back, it's working. Walk over here. No problem, no problem. Because it is so close, um, you're overlapping two different box collisions at one time. And that's something that's unavoidable. And I wish that I had a quick fix for that. But unfortunately, this is going to be one of those times where if you want that particular one to work, then you're going to have to either shrink down your box or you're going to have to expand it out to make it larger and you can only go into one spot or another option you could do short term is if you have this here like that and you want to go to that one that that side cover if you're here and you want to be at the next one why not hit the right mouse or right key or using your ASDF using the appropriate key to move to the right um, it would move you and just for right now teleport you from one side to the next and you would be able to go between left and right on the cover so and it would be a matter of adjusting your location from here to here or from here to here but it's also going to be limited to the factor of you had your one entry point and if you leave that entry point by teleporting now you're no longer in there and just so many different little complications when you're setting up games like this but that's going to get us rolling on the first portion of it and you said I will come up with a good way of it actually if I'm over here instead of it teleporting me I want it to walk my character over and then crouch down. Then when I hit the space bar, I can start walking away and go do other things. Um, at some point, we'll throw in a simple shooting system with um, 
these things that will actually react. The lunch bucket and other things when we shoot them will actually fall over. Um, what I also want to do is, besides just doing cover, uh, I want to be able to maybe hit the right mouse or left mouse button and have our character go to ADS mode and shoot over the cover. Um, when we approach a wall, I want to be able to hit the um, control key or whatever key and start the sequence of jump to the ledge and then be able to bound over and do a ladder climb system, a rope climb system, and start adding these pieces in one at a time so that, um, you know, like the cover. The cover system is not something you're just going to, you know, snap out like that. It's going to take a couple different steps, as you saw. We have the, the area that we're going to be able to go into, our entry zone, our location for us to, to snap to, and then, all right, thanks for the sub. Uh, and then while we're here, say if we do the left mouse button, we want our character to bring the weapon up to an ADS mode and shoot over the barricade, and so forth. Um, we'll also look at, if I'm over here, if I hit spacebar, just like with the, uh, the cover system of doing this, we want our character to hug the wall. And then if we do the right, you know, move to the right, instead of our moving our whole character, we can do a peek left, peek right. This is um, inspired by um, the Division in Division 2, how they have their cover system. You know, depending on the type of cover, we'll have a different setup. Instead of just using the same one here, we'll have a different one set up for when I'm here at the, the corner. I can hit the space bar and it'll put us back up against the wall. And then if you hit a key, you'll actually be able to, your character will peek around the corner and be able to shoot if you want to. Or if you're on this side, it will be the opposite direction. But being able to do that, or if we're also with our back against the wall, We'll turn around and then we can climb up and then over. Except so with the division type games, there's no jumping. So it's not like, well, I can just come over here and jump on, on this and then jump over to there. No, I can't jump. So it's going to help. Even though I don't like it, I like being able to jump in games. It's their method of being able to control player movement. Say, well, you have to go down this road. You can't cut through this alleyway because there's debris blocking it. Um, instead of putting blocking volumes all over the damn place, they can just put a shipping container there. And, oh, okay, well, I can't get there because, well, there's a shipping container in the way. But I can climb up on this shipping container. The way that they handle it to where you know that this is an area that I can jump up on is a lot of times in the division, you may have a container, but you can't climb up on every point of this container. So what they end up doing is um, they put like a yellow tarp there and you can actually go over to that yellow tarp and you know that that's the location that you can oh that's a spot I can climb. You recognize that as a universal gaming thing is a yellow area. Oh it must be somewhere I can interact. So that's what they do is they put like a yellow tarp hanging over the edge or what have you. So you know that when you go to that spot, you can actually then climb up, and then you'll be on top of the uh, the container. They use a lot of fences to block player movement, but they use things like buses and yeah, and that's the the whole point is when you you go on fire uh, on cover like this, um, and you're in a shooting posture. Um, can do say left mouse button whatever you do that you'll pop up and aim down sights and shoot or if you're on cover right click and it will just you know raise your gun over your head and shoot above your head it's just a matter of finding the right animations to get things there I don't have all the animations in the world but I have a bunch at my disposal um, these were just the, the free and easy ones that I could throw together to get it started so, like this, the first thing was just snapping us to the cover. Our movement keys do nothing until we hit the space bar again, and then we can leave cover. And it's small enough to where, even though we are teleporting, it's not a huge noticeable thing. 
It's not like we're teleporting halfway across the map. We're only just we're popping into this little little zone there. So you go behind the cover, left click, I can aim down sights and shoot, or right click, I'll be able to just you know blind fire, which you can do that in the division uh, in division two as well. So I think this is a good start on that. And so I want to try to keep these videos to the one hour mark, and we're at the one hour mark. Um, what I'm going to do is take a break for a little bit and then come back. And I'll actually be playing some more of the Division 2. And you guys are welcome to join me if you want me to stream. And I will actually cover, as, we're, as I'm playing the game, talk about the features and start thinking about how we can create this in Unreal Engine 4. Just like this, being able to snap to cover, but being able to move around and look around and then have the, the shoot system. I will come up with some animations that will just be placeholders. I'm not going to have access to all the animations to be able to keep this free. Um, I'm not going to sit here and make an animation just for this if you can't make it also. We want you to be able to, to do the same thing, and I'm using as many free assets as possible. Like I said, the only thing that I'm using that is not free is my simple multiplayer Steam template, and that's just so that... Um, once I start getting the shooting and doing damage and that kind of stuff, if we want other people to join in and play, then we have a way of being able to do that. So let's go ahead and save everything we got here. Um, I've got a bunch also. I just have to sort through it and see what I got. This was you know, this kind of the intro into the new way I'm going to be doing things. But I do appreciate I never turn down free animation, <laughs> you know. Um, but I'll be using some Mixamo animations too, and we'll cover how to convert them over, and we'll start consolidating our, our character meshes and all that stuff too. But definitely keep up with me on Discord, and each day I want to put in about an hour of, of time into a stream like this of let's start working on these features and getting them going and the more that we can do the more that we can show I'll see if there's an actual better way of actually getting the character to actually walk over with a AI type deal but I think the way it's working now is not bad the simple multiplayer team template I'm going to cover that really quickly and then uh move on to taking a break and I need to eat something again I haven't eaten anything since lunchtime I only had a couple hot dogs and it's almost 11 o'clock at night and I haven't eaten dinner yet fed mom she's good she's not doing bad today I did actually tell it to do something we're just waiting on it don't mind the name yeah and I'll cover also doing the custom splash screens as well that's really, really simple. But this is how my simple multiplayer Steam template looks. You see access Steam community while playing. You get your Steam username and avatar, and that is my Steam username and avatar. Um, somebody, at least one to ten people per day try to hack my account. You're not going to get in it because of all the different authentication methods that I've got set up on there. Um, you can go into single player, and it'll jump right into this and I don't recall telling oh sh I, well whatever it doesn't matter um, so yeah there we go hit escape it is not going to work because it is using the different character and I didn't tell it to I did tell it to and I'm just blaming it on something else um, it's because world settings I changed that player here save all save selected so now without being screwed with and trolled by my own stupidity here uh, whenever you actually hit play this is what happens um, so you hit single player you go into the menu you can play with yourself and do whatever you want hit escape go back to the main menu multiplayer you can host or find if you want to find a game nothing pops up hit find lobby it will search hey there's a, a game we can join right here 
nobody else is actually playing this this version of the game. So if you see something like that and hit join, it's just going to fail because it's not going to match the same version. So that's kind of a cool thing. But I can host a game and I can call it Monkey's Putum. Uh, it's probably spelled wrong, but whatever. And then hit make. And now anybody that has this exact same version of this same game will be able to join. And there was much rejoicing. Yes, I put in a health bar. Um, and you can change views. Hit escape. Go to main menu. And exit game. So let's go ahead and before we exit, first thing I'm going to do for convenience wise is go into my character blueprint player base and if you're not going to use my player character but you want at least the escape menu to functionality to be there just copy it and go into the character blueprint of what you're actually using and yeah I mean we're we, from time to time, we'll sit there and chit-chat about different things in, in Discord, um, different projects and so forth, different games. So that's that. Go to our... Minimize some of these things here. We've got a bunch of different projects and stuff we do. Um, but I, I run three 32-inch monitors. And I have one 32-inch monitor that does nothing but hold Discord. That's the only thing it does is it has Discord running on it. And, you know, like right now I'm working on my center monitor. Left monitor right now just has nothing but my streaming software and a clock and that kind of stuff. Um, so here, if you don't want to modify your, your game mode, you can actually create your own game mode which for some reason I still have it in here, game modes. Um, I can actually kiss my ass, go away. I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, third person game mode, let's duplicate that and call this um, fart monkey, no, um, other game mode. And we can then tell this to use the other game mode and change that to our stupid UE4 name thing. So save all, save selected, and let's play in selected viewport. And now we're using this instead of the other one. So there we go. Um, as needed. I'm like one of these old guys, and I don't get into the parkour thing because, you know, my knees hurt standing up, and if I think about my character being able to do this, I mean, yeah, I don't have the manual dexterity for those kind of games, but we'll cover some of the ways of actually doing it. So if you wanted to wall jump, right now we have jumping totally disabled because we're kind of mirroring the, the, the division, but as we're talking about other game types, then... I can just set up another player character and go from there. And the only thing I want to see swinging from a pole is strippers, you know. Because strippers are awesome. Strippers need love too. And money. Lots of money. Um, <laughs> so, with those, I was looking at animations earlier for a wall run. Um, I will look at a smoother way of doing it. Just got to keep up with me and remind me, because it's not something that I would normally be doing. So I'm going to make sure we save all, and y'all got to keep me motivated on working on Stream Party, because if I don't, then I just won't work on it. Stream Party is a chill environment for people to, to have a 3D world or to walk around in social interactions, what I want to try to, to, to enforce, and people hanging out, going to each other's... We, we can't exactly, um, you know, with the quarantining of the world right now, we can't exactly go out and hang out in bars and shit like that. So now, having this game needs to be a priority getting its ass on frickin' 
uh, line somewhere. There's some things that I want to get done with this project. And it's not just social interaction. I don't want a, a virtual world Facebook, make a copy of somebody else's game or whatever. Um, Second Life or whatever. You know, I want to have this to where, you know, people can actually socialize and hang out and do things, but there's also a buttload of games that you'll be able to go out and do. Can incorporate things like I've already started working on the infection mode. Also, kind of goes along with the way the world's working right now. Um, so, uh, oh shit, why do I have two players at? Well, let's just do that with two players. Alright, client. So, this is Joe Schmo walking around town. We know he's Joe Schmo because right now I have the G key. And if you look on the upper left-hand corner, it says, I'm just a normal player. I'm just an average Joe. I can walk around town. I can jump up and down. I can dance like a clown. I can open my phone, and I can change my dance style and do a little butter churning. There we go. Churn butter churn butter and here I am who am I if I hit the G key I'm the server admin or I'm the admin admins have certain privileges that normal players don't like they can go on duty and become the FBI run around you shouldn't be doing the you know training butter in the middle of the streets you're you're defective so while you're you're on duty you can actually visit the jail and see if anybody's in the cells check on your, your prisoners and if you want you know just come over here and have a seat chill at your desk and do your thing or you can go back and check on town see how things are going meanwhile OMG is over here churning butter so let's go over here let's sneak between this house hey look a football pick that up and I can throw the football I can go shopping. This is the mask shop with, you know, you've seen this a thousand times. All the different freaking masks here you can buy. Um, today we're going to be a panda. Go over here, talk to this dude. Right now the masks are free. We're going to be a panda. Get my free mask and exit. <coughs> yes. Thanks to the way I'm Gen 4 works. You know, a little little buggy every now and then, but So yeah. I don't want to wear this mask anymore. It looks kinda of funny. Let's take it off. Alright, but since I'm just a simple player, I'm a normal player, but I'm here and I play a lot. Oh, there will be strippers in this game here too. Um Yeah, the um, sliding. Yeah, there was some uh, animations I saw for that. Since I'm the normal player, when I hit G, I can see in the upper left hand corner I'm just a normal player. Um, if I hit Q to bring up my phone and I try to press this center button, nothing happens. I'm clicking away, nothing happens. But server, whether he's on duty or not, he opens up his phone. Oh, and yes, this is the correct time of my local time, 10.50 p.m., and it is April 7th, 2020. As you can see, this matches that. It's cool. It's awesome. Aha! Me, the admin, I can have access to another menu. Close that. You've been a really good player, so I'm going to promote you. You are now going to be a moderator. So now, when Mr. I'm just a simple player hits a G key, it says, ah, moderator. So now I can hit the number one key, and I can go on duty. I can go check the jail. I can come back. I can go off duty if I want to. Um, I can actually use my phone 
but since I'm only a moderator, when I hit this secret button, I get a different menu than what the admin gets. Go on duty, go off duty. And I can close the phone, I can look at my bank balance, damn I'm poor, and settings menu isn't working right now, but I can still do all the same things that I could before, but I could also go on duty. But if you notice, whenever I go on duty, I'm a police officer. But here, Mr. Moderator, whenever I go on duty, I'm the FBI guy. So, let's change our dance, and let's have Mr. Popo do some twerking. But I want to do the Macarena. Hey, Macaroni. <laughs> A lot of work back and forth just to get the dances and the masks to work correctly with replication because there's so many freaking masks that, um, yeah. If you go back and find that video and look at that mess to get all that working. Yes. A male cop twerking in the middle of the street. What does this world come to? Oh, and, um, stop dancing. Still got to work on the arena for this. Um, it'll be a racing arena. And you can see on, on the other character, you can see the, uh, my dude is actually on it. So you go into a certain specific arena, guys will get the rubber ducky and. <laughs> yeah, I'll disable all these things in here. Um, so that it actually won't go back and forth. The female characters will actually get the unicorn raft or ring, and guys will get the rubber ducky. And when the character creation is actually done, whenever it quits screwing around, the um, character creation will actually allow you to make a male or female character. Uh, So, yeah. You don't need to get on me to actually keep working on this. Like, to get the vendor here for the store. To be able to buy a hot dog or a slice of pizza or what have you. Um, I'm also thinking about adding in some random traffic. And with the random traffic, um, if you actually get hit by a car, then, yeah, you can actually get killed. And then have to worry about EMS coming and get you and that kind of stuff. Um... And to go along with, and I'll recreate the Seeker Mind system from this project into the other one. That'll actually be a, you know, an easier video to just pump out. Let's go to, let's go to test map. Got two different ones that I'm using. Yes, there's dragons. Covered that in a video a couple days ago. Because somebody asked me about the the fire breathing and how to get the fire to actually do damage, and you can watch my health bar. When the flame hit me, it did damage. And then we have seeker mine, seeker mine, seeker. <laughs> There's so much fun to play with. You got that one. Let's spawn a bunch of guys. I got number two key and, and spawn more more guys in here. Then we'll do the um, the cluster seeker. But we'll put at least the uh, the regular seeker mine in the uh, the other project, and I'll I'll showcase that again on how to make it. See if we can refine it a little bit more too. Get him, boy. But, thought that was kind of cool. So we'll have the Seeker Mine in as we're going. Nobody told me to be alive. So yeah. I'd... So let's actually go look at this one. Uh, there's four dragons that are in this asset pack. You just about killed me. And now I'm dead. I didn't set up death condition for the player yet. Um, 
So, yeah. Y'all keep on me about this. And this is not just a big sausage that he's blowing out. That's the actual damage area that is only has collision on it whenever the flame's coming out. So, All right, I'm going to get out of here. You guys keep up with me on Discord. And if you want to join the... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, the gaming team to actually play some of these games that we're, we're doing. That's great. Let me know on Discord. I'm getting ready to, like I said, I'm going to be eating, relaxing for a little bit, and then I'm going to play Division 2 again. If you want me to stream, let me know in Discord, and I'll, I'll throw the software back up. Ah, I must have the COVID. I'm coughing a lot. That or it's the fact that I've been smoking for 30-something uh, years. Either one. It's either COVID or 30 plus years of smoking. I don't know what's causing my cough. It must be the COVID. I can't, it can't be that I'm doing something wrong with my life by smoking for ever. All right. Love you guys. And not just when it's cold. See you on Discord.